Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I'm gonna to be trying to uh, do a DIY gravity feeder. So I haven't built one before, this will be my very first one. So bear with me as I think I've bought everything I need. I've got my 55 gallon drum here. And as I go through it, I'll list the prices that I paid for things. I wanna say I'm at like $60 or so to build this. And so I'll go through that as well. And at the end, I can give you all the final price I spent on everything here. But to start, I have this 55 gallon drum. It is a plastic drum. It does come with a lid. The lid had this metal bracket on it to be able to seal it and keep it tight. I did get this for free from one of my fiance's cousins. So this is not included in the price. That being said, you can probably pick up a drum similar for about 30 bucks on Craigslist or something like that. So if you can't get it for free, make sure you add this price into it as well. To start, I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off. We're gonna flip the can upside down. And we need to basically put a hole here in the bottom of it. And I'm gonna put a toilet flange. So I'm gonna put this toilet flange Basically center it up in there. It'll actually be facing this way, but this is the hole right here that I need to draw on the can so that I can use my jigsaw and cut out a spot for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this up, draw myself the circle here, and then go ahead and cut it. You can try and make this perfect, which I'm actually going to do. I'm gonna get a tape measure. I'm gonna try and find the center of this. So now that I've got my center marked, I'm going to line up our circle around that and I am going to drill a hole and I'm gonna move you all a little bit closer so you can kind of get a better look. So you probably can't see it too well because it's black on black, but I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole here so that I can start my jigsaw. So then we're just gonna cut out this circle here. So I bought some bolts for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and put two bolts in here so that we can lock that in. It doesn't really matter where you put them. I'm just going to go ahead and make some holes here. So now that I got that lined up, we'll flip, flip it over. All right, so I'm gonna put the bolts through. So we'll go ahead and tighten these guys up. I put a washer on there as well. Looks like I could have gotten a little bit shorter of a bolt, but it should be fine. So one thing I'm gonna do also is I've got some silicone that I'm going to put around the edge here to kind of seal it, but I want to make sure I can build it and get this working before I go seal everything up. So the next thing you're going to want to add is a T. As you can see, this doesn't really fit all that well, so I kind of have a couple options. I can either try and find a part that uh, will fit a little bit snugger here. I may see if I can put a little bit of a four inch over it and then put this on top of that. and. Uh, and screw it in and make sure it's snug because I don't think glue will work in this situation. And so uh, I'm gonna probably do that option, cut a little piece of four inch PVC that'll fit right over here. And this should fit snugly over that as well. All right, so let me cut a little bit of four inch pipe. I bought a 10 foot piece of four inch here. So I'm gonna cut off uh, about two inches of pipe. So that, fits a little bit snugger there and then this will fit snug over that like that and I'm still I'll, I'll use a little bit of uh, pipe glue on it and then I'm also gonna put some screws in there um, to make sure it doesn't go anywhere so we'll go ahead and do that that seemed to work so we'll put another one in on this side so that really shouldn't go anywhere and the nails that go through, I mean, it's not gonna do anything on the inside. They'll just uh, move the corner around a little bit. So we'll, we'll stick for now with that. So at this point, I think I'm gonna go ahead and look at putting the legs on. I'd watched a couple of videos on people putting some of these together and saw some wood options, saw some, you know, some with legs. And I just figured I, I'm kind of doing a modification of uh, all of them. And so I think the reason I didn't like the wood option was I felt like the uh, raccoons and any other varmints could potentially climb up the legs and get to the feeder fairly easily. So I went ahead and I bought, I bought this from 
American Hunter. I'll put the price on the screen so you can see what I paid for it. But basically it's just your, you know, three leg attachments that you can put uh, some metal pipes on. And so that was kind of the route that I uh, decided to go for this one. So we'll see how well that works. It does look like it comes with its own bolt, which is pretty nice. So basically all it says is position the adapters equally spaced around the barrel and tighten all nuts. These little adapters here go on the inside of the barrel. I don't have a uh, kind of a fabric tape, so this is going to have to do for now. So it's about six feet. That's 24 inches, so two feet for each leg basically. So I can probably go ahead and install the first leg and then do two feet on either side of that and should be, should be good to go. It doesn't really illustrate where you should put the legs. Um, I imagine you kind of want it on a flat part of the barrel, I would think. So I'm gonna probably put it, you know, somewhere around this, this angle. I'm gonna get a little bit of a level to make sure I'm putting it in there level as well. For this first one, I'm just gonna kind of eye it up where I want it and then I'll measure the holes to the other locations so that I get them all the same height across the board as well. All right, so now we need to measure 24 inches around to the next location. All right, and before I do that one, I wanna measure 24 inches this way and then make sure I have 24 inches in between the other side as well. Go ahead and mark it and we can measure from the ground up to where your first hole is gonna be. So basically from the ground to that first bolt is 15 and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. We should be good to go ahead and drill that first hole in both locations. All right, so I am now gonna get a ratchet and tighten all that down. So some of these are uh, just twisting, so I'm gonna try and get it a little bit of leverage here to hold it tight. So we should be good there. So like I mentioned, I was gonna go with metal legs now, I feel like you can actually do this a little bit cheaper if you run to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever your local hardware store is and just buy some like pipe and do it. But I went ahead and bought the American Hunter legs system as well, just because I figured it would be, again, a little bit easier making sure that I bought the right legs and everything, so. My thought was I really wanted to make I really wanted to make this a uh, kind of a stand and fill setup. So I'm going to see if only I can get away with only two pieces of these legs. This may be where it's a more than one person job, but we'll see if I can do it. All right, so that's one leg there. Obviously, that height will not work. So we'll put another leg on. So now that we got that set up that was a little harder than i thought it would be one thing i may have to do as you can see i may come out and hit this guy so i may need to rotate rotate my feeder a little bit there basically now what we need are going to do is install some of these 22 degree angles and that's going to be pointing down like that and so to do that we need to cut another couple pieces of our pipe here so that it can fit in both sides. So I'm gonna get my tape measure and measure that. So just under two inches there. So I'm gonna go with uh, about three and a half to four inches. I cut some pieces off my four inch uh, PVC here. And again, at this point, I'm not gluing this, uh, gluing this in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, little four inch piece in here. Now for this 22 degree piece, you want it to be facing down. So you wanna try and get that lined up perfectly so that it will face downward like that. 
this is where it's kind of up to what you want to do as far as how far you want to come out. You know, I've got a concern if a deer comes up to it, you know, their antlers, you don't want them to be hitting this or the pole. So I was thinking of coming out maybe, you know, 20, 22 inches, which would put me kind of out where the tape measure is right here and uh, see how that looks. So let me cut a piece off that is about 22 inches. To be safe, I'm gonna cut it to 24. And so that'll get you out about here. At the end of this 24 inch piece, we're gonna put a 45 degree angle on it like that, basically. So I imagine that should be pretty good to keep him away from that leg. I'll go ahead and install the other one and we can see what it looks like. I will say this height is not gonna quite be a stand and fill, but it's close. So let's zoom out a little bit here and y'all can kind of see what I got going. Now the big question is gonna be what height you want this off the ground, because you want you know some fawns to be able to get to it also. So I was shooting for about 30 inches and I'm at 34. My guess is that's all right. This one's a little bit lower, so I'm probably just not level. Yeah, I may be able to take out a leg a little bit like that, lower it down some, get the legs out of the way, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm about 32 there. And about 33 there, so a little off level wise. Let me zoom out and back up here so you can kind of see the full picture. So that's the uh, gravity feeder. I don't have any feed or anything to put it in it to show that it'll sit in there and, and work nicely, but I'll do a video when I get it out to the property to show you that. I only use two of the leg lengths, so you know if you buy another box of these to build a second one, you actually have enough to do a third one. So. Uh, you can save a little bit of money there. You know, it is a little taller than I was hoping, but it still will be easier to uh, fill. I think the uh, the next one that I may do is move the legs up a little bit higher so that it drops it down a tad, but we'll see how well it works before I do that. I personally don't like the white, so I've got some spray paint here. And again, I am gonna end up gluing this. I'm gonna come back and do a little bit of greens and tans on it as well. Again, if you wanted to, you could spray the uh, steel, you could spray everything if you wanted, but I'm gonna put slinkies on the steel too so that the uh, varmints can't climb up this thing and get to it. So one thing that I think you're gonna wanna do is since corn and other stuff will fit in here, you're gonna want to drill some drain holes. When it rains, there's gonna be water that gets up inside here, and so I'm going to drill like two or three holes on the bottom of this. So if you wanted to get a little design on it, you could uh, kind of do some leaves. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do a little finishing touches. When I get to the property, I'll seal it, glue it all off, make sure it's pretty waterproof. Like I said, I put some holes in it so that any water that does get in there can drain out easily doesn't cause any mold. You can do this with a metal drum as well. I actually have a metal drum. If this works well, I may do another one. I also may do a video of doing one with a, a slinger on it. If y'all are interested in that, like this video and leave a comment. That way I know y'all enjoyed it and I'll do another one. If you have any questions, comments, tips, again, this is my first one I've done. Feel free to uh, leave a comment. Shoot me an email. My email address is in the description below. And for what I spent to do this, way cheaper than going uh, and buying a two, three, four hundred dollar gravity feeder somewhere else. I think it should work. We'll test it out. I'll get a good trail camera on this and see uh, see what we end up getting uh, coming up to it. And I'll keep you on the loop. As always, thanks for watching, and see y'all next week.